Hello, welcome back. This is an audiobook. Live the Life You Crave. Chapter 10, Pivotal Moment. There are those pivotal moments in life that can be disheartening enough to stop us in our tracks and stall our progress. Don't allow the bad aspects of life to create and support the false belief that you aren't cut out for happiness and success. This is the lie pain can wield. Plus, it's the very reason you must heal and nurture yourself. Remember the next exercise to help you move forward with your new plan of action. Now just as these bad pivotal moments that seem to alter our lives so profoundly occur, you too can create positive pivotal moments. You actually take the bad pivotal moments, feel them fully, and think of the solution or how you want your life to be without this problem. You instinctively, naturally crave life without this negative event in your life, this negative problem, this negative energy, this negative person, this negative situation, whatever it is. It's easy to visualize it, so do that. And then take real world growth steps to make it happen. See the problem, feel the problem, see the solution, feel the solution, and make it happen. Understand your failures, past, present, and in the future, those you will make in the future, are the bricks along your journey. Your successes, past, present, and future, are the mortar securing those bricks. Together, they collaborate to make an authentic route to all that is you and all that you want. Misery is built on a foundation of lies. Success is built on a foundation of failures, well-intentioned failures. It's alarming how many of us don't step into the lead role of our lives, but instead drift along unfulfilled and unhappy. Understand this, you are now in charge, and you can provide yourself every opportunity to nurture yourself as you would a child. You can boil it all down to this. You have the power to decide the direction of your life. It's you who determines what you do to make it happen or not. So do something to move you along the road to what you want and away from what you don't. It's in the past, it's behind you, look forward, identify what you want in the past, shove it in the past, put that problem behind you, and be solution based. I practice what I like to call the success mindset strategy. To fully commit to change and self-development, you must step into the lead role of your life and do so with intention. Choose to play your role fully and be both the director and the star of your life. You are in control. You can create, edit, delete the story of your life exactly how you want. Just practice, practice, practice. Take charge and embrace your truth and all it delivers. Enjoy the process. You can do this. Let's explore how to create a good pivotal moment using this tool. One, see your life and situation as it currently is. Not worse, not better, but how it truly is. No smoke and mirrors. Feel the pain, the problem 
is causing you. You can do this one problem at a time and don't rush. Deal with one problem. When you feel you've got that handled and you're focused on the solution and living the solution or still manifesting it, you can move on to the next problem. So feel the pain of this one problem, the biggest problem, the one that's really, really in your way right now. Feel the pain. Feel the frustration. Feel everything it makes you feel. See how horrible this event is, this thing, this person, and what they're doing to your life. And then, how do you want it to be? Because when these things happen to you, it's so easy to just say, why, why is it like this? You say that because you know there is a better way. You know it is wrong, and you know what is right. So then, number two, step two, focus on what's right, the solution. See it better than it is. Visualize your life as you want it to be with that change. Make it better in your mind. This lays the groundwork to make it happen in real life. There's no pressure, no rush, just focus. Imagine how good this feels. The problem is gone. It's behind you. Poof, vanished, gone. The solution is before you. You are the director. You are the lead actor. You are playing the part. Imagine how good it feels. Number three, finally make it the way you see it. Oh, wow, that sounds big, right? The way you want it. The way you visualize it. Visualizing is creating. You ever wonder why so many bad things just keep happening over and over and over again? Or you experience a uh, bad relationships over and over and over again or any aspect of life that is negative well you think about it a lot don't you what we think about truly happens you have to shift your focus make it the way you see it the way you want it the way you visualize it take physical real-world steps to create the life you want the life you know you're meant to enjoy and keep in mind it's an accumulation of small accomplishments that create it. It's a consistent flow of small accomplishments that create this life that you dream of, the life you're intended to enjoy, the life you fully deserve. Continue to think about how you want life to be, how good this feels, and focus on it as if it's already happening. Visualize. Improve it change it. Keep growing it the way you want it. Visualizing is planning. You are planning your life. And just like planning any great event, the more thought you put into it, the better it will be. That's right. See your life as it is. See your life as you want it to be. Visualize that. Consistently visualize that. Believe your life can change, be different, better, and visualize how. Imagine life just the way you want it. Think about it each night as you lay your head down to rest. Yes, instead of thinking about the woes and worries of the day and the wrongs that you've experienced, visualize a life with all you've ever dreamed of and rid of all you don't want. Create it in real time, bit by bit, the way you imagine, and allow yourself to dream and do so with details. Whenever doubt creeps in, pivot and work on the life you crave so deeply. Visualize that. Feel that. Focus on that. I have a dose of tough love for you now. If you continue along the wrong path, how are you different from those who raised you or anyone who played 
a role in the shaky bits and false information with all that misdirection of your formative years. Isn't doing nothing complacent? Isn't doing nothing adapting and adopting to what was done to you that did not work? Of course it is. Childhood is an 18 year period after which you have the rest of your life to improve on all aspects of your life. It is your first afterlife. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, look up afterlife in the book or whatever. It's, it's very, it's important, it's powerful. Life on average is four times longer than childhood. I don't read that somewhere. Some expert came up with that. So 18 times four is 72. Now with this in mind, understand there's plenty of time to correct the missteps of your youth and your life up until this point. Oh, and you can live far beyond 72. Simply taking good care of your mind, body, and soul can get you way beyond that. This number is subject to change, just as your life is. Perhaps whoever said this meant 18 plus 18 times 4, yeah, that would be 90. I like that much better. Misdirection is rarely intentional. Parents are either trying to provide their child with every opportunity while others are not equipped to parent and offer little to no positive direction. Still, regardless of who our parents are, most all of us are expected to do what has the greatest odds of worldly success. Forget about all that past nonsense. It's led you astray, down the wrong path. This is your moment, your pivotal moment to nurture and care for yourself. How well you do this is now about to change. Take a deep breath and let's move on to the next great aspect of you. Just keep going step by step by step. Identify the problems. Put the problems in the rear view mirror. Focus on the solution. Have clear and defined goals about what you'll do each day to avoid procrastination. This is your new opportunity and the key to what you desire most, and it is highly attainable. Take action and put what you've learned from this book, which is your playbook, packed with those 22 magical strategies for happiness and success. I was once like you. I understand where you are. I knew I had to make significant change, and I did so, using all these techniques I've developed over the years. I cannot say this too often, and I want you to carry this around with you, literally. Write it down. Write yourself notes, post-it notes, stick them everywhere, put them everywhere, to serve as a positive reminder it's a consistent flow of small accomplishments, and there are none too small, including making your bed, which is, we'll cover that later in the book. So again, it's a consistent flow of small accomplishments that create the life you crave, the life you are meant to experience. You ready to pivot? Good. Do so as often as necessary. As a matter of fact, pivoting is a tool you'll use for the rest of your life because there's always going to be negative people, places, and things, right? So you'll be able to pivot. And until next time, 
Have a beautiful, 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 wonderful, glorious day. I'll see you on chapter 11, That Child.